Hey guys, this is Superfly Todd, and this is Let's Play EverQuest. This is uh, Boomgrove, our level 9 wizard. Uh, we left off with the left video, getting ready to w wait for the NPC to spawn in the, the room here for the quest. So uh, we're sitting here just kind of meddling up and manning up and getting ready for this fight here. Uh, uh, we're in the last final quest to get out of this zone, so uh, we're kind of excited to get this these last couple quests done and get out of here. Um, I think there's still one more. Yes, he's right there. There is a room spawn, which we do. we're not going to want him to be around when we kill the the uh, name. So let's get rid of him really fast. So we don't have to worry about this guy. Come on, let's get him down. Let's get him down. And we're sitting only a little bit into level 9. And I forgot what the actual respawn timer is of this uh, NPC. I think if I remember correctly, the, NPC, the, uh, the mobs in the room spawn before him. So I think you get one extra spawn before he actually spawns. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll have to see here. Uh, let's take a look. I'll see. Maybe there'll be even somebody who wants to come down and help us. Um, not sure. It's been a long time since I've taken this guy down with a, a pure caster. Normally, you know, you have a pet, a pet class like a mage or a beast lord or something like that. So, not really sure how this is gonna go. We're gonna play it by ear, see how it uh, works out. And uh, hopefully for the for the better. <laughs> but uh, right when we got down here, somebody had just got done completing or killing him. So um, we just saw some respawns that happened, and he didn't spawn. So he should be the next cycle through. And let's do this just for a safety precaution. Let's do staunch recovery. Uh, re gives us kind of a, a massive heal. It's a very expensive mass heal. Um, and then we're going to set up this one, which will intensify our spells, our spell damage, so we can get some crits uh, when we nuke on this guy. Again, it will just help try to take him down a lot faster. And I do believe I've already used the claim. Um, I'm not going to claim any of these right now. Uh, we'll just wait. We did claim the other gift that we have here, and we haven't opened up any of these packages yet, so we'll wait for a little bit longer until, you know, maybe past level 10 before we open those up. Okay. Let's see here. We got full health, full mana. We're waiting around, waiting around. There's definitely some roamers outside of here. Uh, I would love just to have him spawn and we just nuke the heck out of him. Kill him quick. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Oh, then we got a room spawn. Okay. Let's get this guy down fast before anybody else spawns. The one da downfall of this room is you can really get caught with your pants down and get a bunch of mobs on you. And then, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the, the named, the Lord, is easy. But, man, you start getting all these ads and they're hitting you. And, you know, I'm squishy couple good hits from these guys it, uh, it won't take much for them to get me down to the point where I'm gonna have to run so there we go you know the good thing is we're killing these monsters in here we're still getting some experience so we're sitting what 30% uh, into the level so let's see here I think Let's see. Kind of worried that a healer mob spawned outside. That's that's a horrible scenario. Nope, there's a wizard. And somebody came in. They don't want to... Hey, come back. Come help me. Come help me. 
might be a uh, let's take a look so we're sitting still 17 people in, in the uh tutorial zone which is, which is still crazy it's hard to believe i mean it's typically it's not that many people in here it's a much smaller number but if anybody wants to join with us matter of fact why don't we just do this I can type today. Oh, we could not. Ah, so my bad. So we're on uh, the Fena Vey server, which is a role play server, which does not allow the out of character chat command. Uh, so that's not an option. Good to know. Typically, I don't play on the server. This is a complete uh, vanilla, or not vanilla, uh, clean server for me. I don't have any tunes on here. There's no uh, way for me to tweak uh, this character whatsoever. Everything you see on this character is something that I've uh, I've earned and uh, have done only on this tune. So, again, makes it more a little bit more of a challenge. Which that's what I was looking for. Uh, let's see here. What's behind the? Is there anything hidden behind there? Oh. Well, we got a warrior spawned. Didn't need him. We we want the name guy. Come on, let's burn this guy down. I think we're getting pretty close to being yeah we're full on full on inventory you know there's some stuff here we don't really need that we'll be able to get rid of uh i was just keeping this stuff uh destroy uh we'll destroy the cloth here free up just a few slots i keep the stuff so i can sell it earns a little bit of extra money there I'll need close to 100 plat for all that jewelry that I need to get. I'm sitting at 22, so I'm a little ways away from having the money to be able to get uh, all that uh, beginning jewelry. And again, not having the ability to tweak this character is not an option, uh, so I can't. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't, so. Or could I? There is one way I could tweak this character. There is one way. There's an NPC in the Plane of Knowledge. Oop, NPC. Uh, that uh, I've been playing for so long, I've earned uh, enough of his revenue, of his currency, that I can buy a bag of plat. So we'll let him get down. I'll let him get my mercenary down in health before I jump in, even though he keeps hitting me as I walk by. Uh, let's burn. We'll do a couple little burns on this guy. I don't want to over aggro. You'll see the aggro is right here. If I over aggro, he gets on me. He's not the. He won't get off of me, and the next thing you know, I have low hit point aggro, and then it would be called uh, an easy death. So, don't want that to happen. We get down here to seventy five percent. We'll do a big nuke. Big nuke coming in. Yeah, it jumped us up to 95% aggro. Had to go back down a little bit. It's the key. It's not over aggroing. You know, easy monsters, you know, that's you, you can do that. That's not a problem. But this guy, he hits hard. He's down on under 50. Let's burn him down. Let's burn him before we get some adds, too. I have a healing pot I can cast, so I'm not worried about him kicking my butt too much.
Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Um, let's see here. We got bracer. Let's see how much of this I can loot up here. Loot it all. Yeah, we loot it all. Let's get our sew and get the heck out of here. Clear some corpse. I think we still need leadership. We still need two more captains. We still need some captains here. Captain, my captain. Let's kill this captain. And then we can go turn that quest in. And that quest is to Hubart or Hobart. So we'll go. Okay, he's down. And there's a warrior, and he's waiting to get a captain. Let's see if there's a captain up here spawns in the tunnel. Ah, oh, there is the final captain that we need. Good times. There he is. Done. Done, done, done. That one we didn't have to do anything. It was uh, just a, the reward is experience. So we are now sitting at a whopping 65% into level 9. Almost level 10. We'll go down over here. We'll turn this quest in. I think we'll have one more quest to do. And it's going to be the uh, like Sarnak guy that we have to kill. There it is. Uh, select that club. Oop. We do not have space to take that item. This thing is way better than my dagger, so we will definitely take that. Um, let's go down here and clear off our inventory since we're full. And we are literally in the a little over 80% into this level. I forgot to grab that quest too. That was my my mistake. I needed to grab the quest for the NPC, but we'll do that as we run back. Just want to just double check. Always double check make sure I didn't miss anything. Sometimes I run through and I forget certain quests, so I can't sell that. Uh, that was probably a no-drop item that I actually picked up. Sell these. Oh, come on. So this is a haste item range. So what we'll do getting some getting some clad. Don't really need this too much, a, a haste item, but uh, I definitely don't need a lantern. So all right, let's see here. We still got some more stuff we want to sell. Oh. Nothing for that, nothing for that. Oop, I already tried selling that one. There's that done. Let's delete this stuff just so we can clear out our inventory. Right on. All right. I think I just, uh, yeah, a couple things here. Got an invis pot. Won't need that. Your caster we get in viz i'd rather have the three plat all right let's go over here and one thing we need to check is that uh we have our spells so we got some spells and while we're here we'll just set and met up all right so we have our level so level nine resist skin i don't worry about those at all shock of ice uh did we already get the shock of ice no we don't have that one so we would get that spell and let's see uh, there was a nine up here halo of light we don't really need i, I consider some of those are just a waste of mana or sp spell spots and cash so i just i just don't get them all right we'll med that up this one does up to 58 points of damage lovely that's what we want to hear all right we got 23 seconds left on our. Yeah, matter of fact, while we're here, 
Let's go ahead and get him to give us a free buff. Oh, look at that. It did not override my, my spell. So that is something I didn't realize. So we have actually uh, some additional AC. That works. That is super cool. All right. One more NPC, and then we can turn that one in too. We should be able to get uh, our level 10 here once we complete this quest. So comes from Mr. Maddock. There it is. He says, find a group. Go kill the Sarnak in the, ca in the cave. Now, there might be a chance somebody might be down there, too. I think the Lord in the fort is harder than the Sarnak. I, it's just me. I always think that this guy is a little bit... Uh, as long as you don't pull aggro, this guy's not that bad. That, But that's the key, right? Is don't pull ag aggro. Oh. Somebody's fighting this guy. So... I think there is a line. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And when it's my turn up to kill the Sarnak guy, I will uh, unpause the video. Thanks. Hey, guys. As I was sitting here uh, waiting my turn, they wanted me to c come and join them. So uh, let's kill this guy. That was awful nice of them. Now I gotta be careful. I'm gonna pull aggro if I uh, if I keep over nuking here. Don't wanna pull aggro off these guys. Look at that. Level 10, and we are done with the tutorial. <laughs> so I, I didn't realize uh, when you do the role play, they speak their native tongue. So uh, I don't know if he understood what I said, but uh, I kind of get the, uh, the fact he said the same thing to me. So... Where do we turn this in? Oh, we gotta go all the way back. So we got just plain experience for uh, doing that kill. We also got a little letter here that basically says, welcome to level 10, tells us about the plan of knowledge, which we will definitely be going to. And uh, that's it. We are done with the tutorial. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's get out the heck out of Dodge. There we go. All right, come on. I wish I had my so. I still got a minute 34 seconds left on that. Ugh. So we go over here, we hail Mr. Aria, Ararius, or Arius, or whatever you pronounce him, and we are done. That's it, guys. No more quests left for us. There actually is one more quest, but I don't want to do it. It's this guy over here. And we have to go down through the jail, and we have to get something. It's not worth it. Now, we will stop here really fast. Check our level 10 spells. I know we just did the level 9s, but let's check our level 10s now. And let's see here. We have uh, this spell surrounds us, and uh, it's a damage shield. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. it. It's probably a very weak damage shield, but... Uh, Ah, I, I want to get it. I like to get those ones. All right, so let's mem these really fast. Doo -doo. This. Let's just check what this damage shield does. And then we have a shock of lightning. This one here, you know, it, it, it probably didn't need to buy it. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. It's one of those ones that some monsters resist the, the fire or the ice. So you always use this as kind of the default if they resist, so... Let's see here. Yeah, it lasts a minute. It's a little bit longer damage shield. All right, we're out of here, guys. 
It was nice knowing you all. Thanks a lot. All right. Off to Crescent Reach we go. Okay, guys, we are good to go. Let's t let's go. We're not gonna do. We're literally on our way. It helps if I get out of the weeds there. We're on our way to uh, Planet Knowledge. A couple things, reasons why we need to get to the Planet Knowledge is one, I want to bind there. So if I die, my body will respawn back up there. Uh, I, I don't. Right now, I'm s spawned in the tutorial or uh, bound there, so I don't want to be bound there anymore. So. We're going to kind of skip this zone, get up to the plane of uh, knowledge, get um, bound, maybe look at some of the jewelry. We got our soap pot is now ready, so we can run a little faster. Um, take a look at some of the jewelry. I don't have the money to be able to buy all of the jewelry, so we'll have to be very selective on what we get. We probably get a couple pieces. All right, here we go. Also, right up here, uh, I'd like to stop and buy at least three more backpacks. Um, I like to do that because uh, I need the storage for, I can hold on to stuff so I can sell it. So we need some backpacks. One, two, three. Let me rearrange these. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's just convenient, I have to run by that NPC, that uh, vendor so I just do it and here's the kind of the newbie area for after level two you know when you finish the tutorial you know so you can stay in this part of the zone as you progress through the zone they get harder the mobs get hotter harder so you could stay here to, I, boy I think all the way up to level 20 in this is this one zone I won't uh, I'll probably stay till 17 um, which will come really fast. Experience here is really, 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 really good, easy. Um, we progress through the tunnels. There's a, a couple tunnels that we go through to get some experience. It's awesome. So we'll be going through those here as soon as we get back uh, from the Plane of Knowledge. Also, you know, one of the other good things about being bound up the Plane of Knowledge is if we utilize our gate spell, which is right here, then we uh, can get back up there quite fast. We can pour ourselves back up there. Uh, this zone here is a uh, blight fire uh, moors, which is a uh, much higher level. You're going to see look, some of the rats are level 18. So that is a lot higher than us. They would uh, definitely kick our butt. So we're not going to mess with them, not even get close to them. Okay, this is the book to the plane of knowledge. So we click it and off to the plane of knowledge. Okay. So as soon as we zone into the plane of knowledge, there's lots of people. It takes a second for the graphics to render in. This is the NPC that will sell us our jewelry. Uh, and this is the kind of the first vendor jeweler, or first jewelry vendor. And then as you progress, this will be uh, level 50 and higher. Here's the NPC that I was talking about that we can check out. And what we are, let's see here. Do, 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 do. We click this, we have 4,900 crowns, crowns available. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of cheat because I've been playing EverQuest for for so long. Kind of get the rights to this. Uh, we will buy this one bag. Okay, clicking on this one bag gave us fourteen thousand plats. Yes, I know, I know, I know. That's cheating. That's cheating. But if that's the worst I can do is get some plat, then uh, I'm okay with that. It'll help us with our leveling too, so we're just gonna we're just gonna look up lion's eye. Shh, don't tell anybody we did it. Okay, so here's the jewelry that we can get. 
So we're gonna do a just a very fast, quick purchase of the jewelry. So I need this, 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 and this. Okay, so now we have a bunch of items. So what we do is we put the put these in our slots. I think that's an ear. Uh, necklace. Now it looks like the same necklace, but don't get confused. This is just a cloth necklace. This one has stats. This goes on the face. This one has no stats. This is a ring. It goes into there. Okay. So let's talk about. Actually, we just let's get a couple bucks back. Oh, we can't sell that one, but we can get not even a buck. Some pennies on the dime there. All right. So as we look at this. We are now sitting at a uh, 218 intelligence. Remember that I said the soft cap's 255, so we're pretty close at level 10. Now, there's I still have some pretty weak stuff here. I do not have a back piece, and I don't have a shoulder piece. I don't have a good belt item. Those things right there will get us up to pretty uh, pretty close to the soft cap. Uh, and we'll worry about that. There's some daily quests that we'll work on to try to get that. We don't have to worry about that right this second. Right on. Okay, as we get over here, Soul Binder, we hail. We are now bound to this area. We are good to go. Lots of there's some corpse here in the Planet Knowledge. There, I cleared the. Use my slash corpse gone button kind of hides them so it helps the lag sometimes if there's a in a zone with lots of corpse uh play knowledge is a huge zone i'll spin a futures uh episode walking us through it kind of just telling us more about the zones okay uh for right now we're going to hold off on uh, exploring this it's, it's a large zone uh that we can hang out in but uh we'll do that at a later time this is a quest giver it can give us some quests for some armor uh, this takes us to Butcher Block. If we accept this, and we have to go to the chessboard in uh, Butcher Block. If we do it, this is what we get. We get a shoulder item. It's not very good stats. If we wait a little bit longer and do we do the daily, the, the item from the daily is way better. So we don't need to do this quest. And we'll we'll come back to this guy. Okay, let's go back to that the newbie zone. So we did our bounty, we got our jewelry, we increased our intelligence, we got more mana now. We're ready to do some killing. Or I like to say some nuking. Let's get some nuking on. And let's get out of this zone before our, somebody recognizes us and wants to do something. Meaning, attack us. Oh. One of the things we're going to have to start looking for, too, is looking for a guild. Some big benefits of joining a guild. One, just the fact that there's players that will help you level, help you uh, finish quests. Um, the, the interaction, the human interaction uh, is sometimes, if you just play by yourself, it can get really, really boring. So uh, learning to talk to other people. And helping them out is, you know, th there's a reward to that. There's a personal uh, satisfaction. So. All right. So we're going to run over here. Oh, we just got charged. We did our 15-minute charge for our mercenary. Is he still just a shield? Oh, look. He finally got two weapons. Look at that. Ah, dual wield. The way to go. All right, guys, so we're over here. There's some guys doing some killing out here. But we're going to go in the tunnel. And we're going to kill a couple of these guys. There we go. There we go. There's some big foliage in here. We're going to test out some of our new nukes, too.
let our mercenary kill that one. We can kill this guy. Kill two birds, one stone here. Oh, I didn't even see. This guy is not very high level. Wouldn't have wasted my mana on that guy. Kill this guy here. All right. Well, this is where we're gonna spend probably the next level or two, guys. Is in this tunnel system with these little mushrooms. Uh, I'm. There's obviously somebody down here kind of clearing the way. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and end the video right now. What we'll do is we'll come back. We'll progress through the next couple levels here and. Uh, See where it gets us. Get us some new spells, some, maybe some more gear. Uh, don't forget, I have a, tw a Twitch account that I Twitch Tuesdays, 6 to 9 Pacific Standard Time. Thursdays, 6 to 9 Pacific Standard Time. Saturday, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And continue to check the YouTube channel for additional Let's Plays. There's a couple other projects that I'm working on that I think uh, we'll be able to get kicked off in the next week or so. Uh, but that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and until I see you next time, see ya!